Okay, I don't know what this is. There's something shiny down there. I got something shiny. I'm trying to get it out without wrecking it. Welcome to Digging with Deej. Today we are at an 1874 property that used to be owned by a late 1800s dentist. So it's been detected in the past, but we're going to see what we can find. Found two surface dimes, and then I just got a quarter signal just under the edge of the grass. Common quarter. Modern Look quarter. Look at this sweetie baby we got here. That's Raven. Come here, sweetie baby. Yeah, she's keeping me company. I had a really good coin signal. And I got the bazinga. A washer. Okay, next signal. It's a Lincoln. I cannot tell the date. It is not a weedy. Let me find it. On this hunt, I'm swinging my Technetics T2 Special Edition SE at this site using the 5 inch puck coil. Right there. Okay, let's try it. This one's a deep one. At eight inches and it's not iron I checked it for iron doesn't mean it's not zinc it could be zinc my Fisher F pulse will find it Ooh, it's a coin. It's a Lincoln. Oh, <laughs> get back. Get back, Raven. <laughs> That's a good girl. Come on, get back. Get back. No, no. And it's another memorial. Raven. Stop. It's another memorial. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Stop. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I got another penny signal. That could be penny or dime. See if I can get you. Okay, let's see what we can find. Might be in the sidewall. Hmm. Hmm. Get the digger out. Man, I forgot to bring my gloves. I don't even know if I have any in the car. Because I had to clean my car out when my car broke last week. they weren't sure I had an appointment to take it in for a rear wheel bearing and uh, cause my ABS light came on and it was either a wheel bearing or it was wiring so they wanted everything out of the back of the car so I had to take all my camping stuff out of the car that's Wow. Okay. I dug 
a bunch out of the sidewall. Yep, I pulled it out, whatever it is. Okay, what do we got? Some dirt. Here's some dirt. Oh! Oh! -ho! We got a marble. That's not what's that off the detector, but we got a marble, you guys. Oh! The homeowner is going to love this. Wow. Oh, turn on the... Yep, I got... What am I... What is that, metal? Nope, that's not metal. Oh, we got a... Another memorial! on it! Shoot! Hey... I don't care. We got a marble, you guys. That's cool. I got to go show the homeowner this. We try to clean it up. Look at that beauty, you guys. Pardon my dirty fingernails. What a gorgeous marble. Does anybody recognize what kind that is? The homeowner might know. Or D. Spud might know. That is stunning. I don't know what this is. There's something shiny down there. You got something shiny. I'm trying to get it out without wrecking it. Oh, it looks like, is that a silver spoon? Whoa. Oh, I don't want to break it. But, that's what it looks like to me. Okay, let me get back. I'm gonna put this back so you can watch and I'm gonna try to dig it out. Try to dig it out. Let's see. Aha! First relic! Coming out. Wow. I wish. A spoon. A spoon. There you go, spoon lady. Okay. I think it's probably plated. But I don't know. Yeah, it looks plated. But look at that. First relic. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, you'll never believe what it says on it. Silver, no. Saginaw Country Club. Oh my God. I wonder how old that is. We're going to have to look that up. Saginaw Country Club. That's cool. Some history on the country club. It was organized in 1898 and it would take time before the Saginaw Country Club was fully settled in to its Gratiot Road home. The day after the original clubhouse opened on June 10, 1902, the Saginaw Evening News reported, and the wind seemed to come from the coldest part of the compass, and yet the occasion was joyously festive thoroughly enjoyed by all and made memorable by the open-hearted hospitality of the club. After detailing the size of the crowd attending the event, naming the board of directors, and progress made in developing the golf course, the article provided a description of the clubhouse. The description as follows. A prime importance is the kitchen. It is a model and equipped with everything necessary. There are steel ranges of large pattern with broiling attachments, smaller gasoline ranges for quick orders, and all appurtenances to be found in a first-class establishment of its kind. J.A. Ardussi, the chef and steward, is proud of his kingdom and exhibits with a great deal of satisfaction his colonial 
cut glass and other equipment. John has a splendid eye for what is right and his stock of wines, mineral waters, etc. is the best. And those who have visited him in Frankenmuth will bear witness to his skill in the science of mixicologism. Okay, <laughs> there's Raven. <laughs> It could be a penny, could be a dime. It might be in the sidewall here. saying something's right there. What is that? That's not it. Up. Oh. We got a dime this time, you guys. Uh, boy, that was deep, too. Two thousand three. Wow, that was deep. This rang up really good. Is that a red bullet? Is there such a thing as a red bullet? It's heavy like lead. It doesn't have. I don't think it's fishing related. Could be. The owner is a fisherman. Okay. Had another. It was actually a bottle cap signal, but there's not that many signals in the yard. Is that some bottle caps? I found mostly coins. Oh, really? No. Huh. This is an aluminum nail. Look at that. <laughs> I haven't dug a single pull tab yet. This is just above a pull tab signal. So let's see what it is. digger. Some hard soil here. It's not soft like the rest of the yard. Oh! Look at that! Yeah. It's crusty, so it's a zincan. Oh, there it is. Crusty zincan. Is that the only thing? There it is. Another penny. I think it's another Lincoln. Come on, give me a weedy for goodness sakes. Nope. Memorial. Memorial. Hey, okay, got a weird. I you guys know I always dig something really weird every month. Well, we started out the month of September already with something weird. <laughs> Ring up like a large scent. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I ran out of daylight that day that I was uh, detecting the dentist, the 1800 dentist site. So there's still lots of yard left to detect. I want to go in with my stock coil to get a little deeper because everything seemed to be running deep in that yard. So, but I do plan on returning and I hope you will join me when that day comes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>